SD Sports right now. Hey! Welcome to SD Sports! We're a sports show about sports. Yeah. Sports. What's on the docket? Did you guys hear that Mike Shanahan nearly quit last season? Well, he did. I heard that. He packed up his desk, expecting that he was done and out. Before the playoff game. Even before the playoff game. Gosh. But then, RG3 got hurt, and he thought it would look bad if he left a team yeah. that was struggling like that after their star quarterback goes down. And he was kind of responsible. Mm. Drew, what else is going on? Well, you want to know why? You want to quit? Dan Schneider! The owner the of the owner. Redskins. Just a little too much of whatever. He tries to coach. He tries to do everything. He's best buddies with RG, giving him BJs and private jacks. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. He's just treating RG too good, and he starts talking smack about Shanahan to RG. Come on, Schneider. Yeah, and on your private jet thing. So he's given RG3 uh, rides to games and wherever else on his private jet, while the rest of the team has to ride the commercial flight, the boring flight, over to the game. The, now, the lame flight. Yeah. Oof. And they're, they don't get BJs. <sighs> no BJs on that flight. <laughs> they want the BJ flight. But seriously, if that was me, I hope that I would tell the owner, uh, no, I think I'm going to ride with the guys. Sorry. Thanks for yeah. the offer, though. Yeah, RG, I'm kind of mad at him, too. Like, he's kind of went down in my opinion of him. Yeah. I mean, I think the coach needs to be in charge of how he treats the players. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's why all this crap about RG not being a good leader is happening because he's getting treated so well and they're losing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like they're not looking at him as a leader because you know whatever RG you're in all the commercials you're the star. You yeah. should be so. There's good. no why team. Why should I block for you? Because you're so great. There's no team atmosphere. Yeah. So Snyder has just blown up his team. Literally. And like my point that I was gonna <sighs> say earlier. If you're an owner, you gotta own. If you're a coach, you gotta coach. If you're a player, you gotta play. Ooh. Keep it that way, Snyder. Yes, Snyder, I'll rip you in half. He'll do it. He's done it before. I mean, it's pretty easy if you're the owner. All you have to do is... Uh, uh, one orange juice, hold the ice. You get ice in your own gym? This guy does. No, he <laughs> no, said hold the ice. But why would it, why would they put in ice in it? The kid asked, do you want ice on that? Hold oh, the ice. You didn't, you didn't put that part in. Uh, and hurry up with that. If the kid would ask, you I'm on a budget. If the kid would ask, do you want ice on that? He would have been like, no, you dumb shit. That would have been the real thing. I'm a nice owner, though. <laughs> but that's all you gotta do. Sit back and enjoy life. Watch your Redskins buy some ball. Don't be involved in decisions and crap all like that. Yeah. You're just rich. You don't know stuff about football. Yeah. You just like it. You got rich doing something else besides football. Yeah. You just thought, oh, I think it'll be pretty cool if I owned the Washington Redskins. Turns out you pretty much suck at it. And for some reason he's from the South. And... I think it'll be pretty cool. <laughs> hey. I'm going to give owning a football team a try. Seems fun. But that's just what we think. Make sure to like and subscribe. Hit the like on a Facebook page. Follow us on Twitter. Nothing wrong with that. Otherwise, leave it down below. Or don't. Katniss Everdeen. <laughs>